Hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about something which is pretty awesome and making it even more awesomer. I suppose you could say we're going to make it three times as awesome, all right? So, see this thing right here? If you're watching this video, you probably know what it is. It's an electric flash water. You can buy something like it at Arbor Freight Tools. Now, typically this particular uh, type of uh, electric flash water takes two D cell batteries. Now what I'm going to show you how to do is to take the electric flash water and let it take a 9 volt battery instead. What is that going to do? Each D cell battery is 1.5 volts. Now 1.5 volts times 2 equals, you guessed it, 3 volts. Now by taking this by taking uh, this electric flash water and putting a 9 volt battery into it we are effectively tripling the output uh, tripling the potential uh, bug zapping bug destroying power of this item so thereby making it much cooler uh, in fact one of the guys on the uh, website stated that after making this modification he hit a moth and the moth exploded on impact with the force and the power of his newly uh, modded toy so let's go ahead and dive into this and I'm going to show you guys how to do it alright alright guys so for this project we are going to need the following items we will need your electric fly swatter we will need a 9 volt battery terminal connector now you can get this item from Radio Shack or Fry's or any other electronic store that's near your house that you know of uh, you can get these for pretty cheaply I got a package of them and I think it only cost me about three bucks uh, you'll need wire cutters but you don't necessarily have to use wire cutters per se uh, you can have wire strippers of any sort um, heck if you like my brother you can use your fingernails uh, you will need a soldering iron. Uh, whatever kind of soldering iron you use is, is perfectly fine. You're also going to need a screwdriver. Uh, keep in mind that the screwdriver um, is going to need to be somewhat slim so that it can fit down into the holes on the electric fly swatter. The one thing that I did not include in this picture is solder. And one thing I thought about later, of course, the whole purpose for the solder is to ensure that you have a good connection between the wires that we're going to be connecting. You don't necessarily have to use solder. They have those twist caps that you can use too. So as long as you keep the two connections from touching each other, you know, uh, i.e. the positive and the negative, um, and as long as they're insulated, I think you're good. When you flip the electric fly swatter over with the screw holes aiming towards you, first thing you're going to want to do is to remove the battery cover so you remove that now all of the screws are going to be Phillips head screws if you look in this image you're going to see where I took out which screws uh, the very top and at the very bottom those screws are a little bit shorter than the other screws which are um, you know a little bit longer uh, it's pretty hard to screw up but like I said just remember that the shorter screws are at the very end, so at the very top and at the very bottom. There are two on the very bottom. Once you remove these screws, then we can go ahead and take this front cover off. With the screws out of the device, you should be able to now easily remove that cover. Once you remove the cover, you're going to see what you see in this image, which is a small circuit board at the top toward the uh, electrified mesh and you're also going to see the connectors for your batteries now you're going to be able to remove these um, you just have to be very careful when you're doing so because of course where there are contacts for batteries there's a wire that has to transfer that connection to where it needs to go if you're if you're kind of jiggling those connectors to get them out uh, you don't want to pull them so hard that you end up um, pulling the wires out of the circuit board up on the top uh, so just be just be leery of that and just remember as well 
that the top or the part with the spring is going to be the negative and the bottom the part uh, that's toward the bottom of the fly swatter is going to be the positive so you know just keep those in mind all the wires are black on here but of course we're going to need to connect the red with the positive and the uh, black with the negative with our 9 volt battery terminal uh, connector that we're going to use In this image, what you're going to see is that we were able to, uh, or at least in my case, I was able to uh, gently remove the connectors. Now, on the rear of each one of these connectors, you're going to see that there's a wire that's soldered directly to it. Now, we're not going to need that anymore, so keep a mental note. The positive goes directly to the button that's on the side of your electric fly swatter. The negative... I mean, my mistake, the negative goes to the uh, button that's on the side of the fly swatter. You can see it go directly there. Uh, since that's the case, the wire is substantially shorter than the positive, which has to run from the bottom of the fly swatter all the way up to the top and actually terminates in the circuit board. So cut those two connectors off of the wires, and you're going to want to strip them. All right, you're going to want to strip them and leave about a, a half an inch or so on the end of each of these wires so that you can then solder the tips of the wires with the corresponding wires that are going to then go into your 9 volt battery. So go ahead and cut these off and get the ends of them stripped up and uh, you know we'll go ahead and uh, connect up the 9 volt connector. All right, so for this next step, you're going to see that I've already stripped my wires in this image and that I've got them soldered together and wrapped in electrical tape. Uh, this is going to look like I've uh, skipped, uh, I guess, quite a few steps ahead, but it wasn't as hard as you think. Uh, just make sure that you have your wires stripped and make sure that you uh, have, you know, have them connected uh, securely and then just solder them together. If you're not familiar with soldering, you may also be able to use, they're these twisty things uh, at Home Depot or Lowe's. You may be able to use those too because they're going to serve the same purpose, which is to keep uh, the wires together and also to insulate them to make sure that they don't short. So uh, you're going to notice that the negative or the black wire goes directly to the button on the side of the electric fly swatter. You're going to notice that the red one kind of terminates behind the circuit board. That's the way that it should go. Um, if you have them flipped around, well, then you've just connected the wrong wires. So let's go ahead and go to our next step here. All right, so in this last image, what I've essentially done is I, you know, of course, my wires were already insulated. Um, I soldered them together so I've tucked those wires away and I've pretty much reversed all the steps that we've done up until now. So place the plastic casing back over the back to cover everything up and then put the screws back into the correct places. Um, if you're unsure of where they go just refer to earlier in this video. Uh, it's very simple and as you can see here we have our 9 volt connector now and uh, we can go ahead and connect a 9 volt battery. Uh, of course um, I would show you a demonstration but it's the middle of the winter time right now while I'm uploading this video. However, um, you know of course it's probably not going to be like that for you. Uh, feel free to, to test it out. Uh, now one other word of caution for you here um, and maybe I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video. Uh, by doing so and I'll mention it in the, in the description. I'm pretty sure that you void your warranty on this uh, electric fly swatter. However, however, uh, I don't know how long this video is going to be around, but as it currently stands, they only cost about $4. So voiding the warranty on a $4 item uh, shouldn't be enough to break your budget. And plus the fact, uh, I'm sure the fun that you're going to experience is way more than $4 worth of fun from uh, modifying and zapping bugs with your newly juiced up electric fly swatter. So have all, have a lot of fun and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day.